Hello, Alabama Baptist. We are here at your Disaster Relief Center near Prattville. This is a building that houses equipment, that serves as a staging area, that serves as a training center for disaster relief volunteers made possible by your generosity. Behind me is a 53-foot trailer that has a kitchen inside that can produce 20,000 meals a day for survivors and for disaster relief volunteers. Since we met last, five tornadoes hit North Alabama on November 30. Alabama disaster relief teams responded. The Gatlinburg fires, the tornadoes in Albany, Georgia, the Midwest floods in Missouri and Arkansas back in the spring. Alabama Baptists have been there. A little hurricane blew through called Holly in the summer and it did damage in Fairfield and for four weeks Alabama Baptist Disaster Relief volunteers worked in Fairfield cleaning up and feeding. And then perhaps you've heard of Hurricanes Harvey and Irma and Maria. Our volunteers have been in Texas and they have spent several weeks in Florida, six, seven weeks working on uh, cleanup and recovery. That would include chainsaw, that would include tarping roofs, that would include doing flood recovery, feeding people. We prepared 120,000 meals the time that we were down there to help uh, feed the public and feed our volunteers. So many good stories have come out of those about people trusting Christ. 21 professions of faith in Florida alone through the work of Alabama Disaster Relief. On behalf of Florida Baptist, I say thank you to the Alabama Baptist for your amazing response in the aftermath of Hurricane Irma, your disaster relief teams that came and served so lovingly and compassionately within our state, for your churches that gave generously to Florida Baptist and for disaster relief that enabled us to respond to the needs of people, we say thank you. As an Alabamian, I want to say how proud I am of my home state and roll tide roll. Hello, Alabama Baptist. My name's David Hardish. I'm the Executive Director of the Baptist General Convention of Texas. And on behalf of our entire Texas Baptist family, I thank you for your wonderful support in our relief and response to Hurricane Harvey. Your assessment, your relief teams, your wonderful financial generosity, you have made a difference in Texas and we are grateful. Thank you so much and God bless. You know a lot about tribulation and trials, the tornadoes that came through Alabama and created havoc. And to your aid came Southern Baptists from all over the nation. You were recipients then, but now you have been gracious, incredible, generous people to give to Texas and Southern Baptists here in the state of Texas. One thing I want you to know that your money is being used for is we're providing for 50 couples a retreat those that were impacted by Harvey as the hurricane swept across the southern part of Texas and devastated churches, pastors' homes, we're now able to help them begin the healing process and we're providing that retreat and your funds made that possible. Last week, we had a team on the ground on the west side of Puerto Rico surveying the opportunities that we'll have to minister there. This week, a, a group of your Alabama Baptist Disaster Relief Volunteers is working in Puerto Rico and in the coming days we plan to work together with our association and church partners to help a number of churches on the west side of Puerto Rico as they recover from the massive hurricane called Maria that has left that island in great need. This is a, the best time. People, many of them, are becoming humbled by God. That's good. So I believe that all this happening here is a blessing. Thank you, Alabama Baptist, for being so supportive, so generous in your giving, and so willing to go and serve. 